Which it goes. Ace man here. Wake up! To the Diablo Resurrected live stream, the spiritual journey, where we begin as a necromancer. But this one isn't just any necromancer. It has a rather unusual item. All right. Check it out. Can't you tell? Let's take a look at it. Look at the look on that thing. Biggin's Bonnet. Is that what you say? Biggin's Bonnet. Cap. Unique. And uh, this one is a rather unusual one. How the freaking toad did Biggin's Bonnet get plus two to necromancer skill levels and plus 20 to teleport as well as magic find based on character level? How does it get those traits, you ask? Well, the answer, methinks, is a little birdie brought it over to me and dropped it in the rogue encampment. And, uh, but that's the only item that it dropped. So, this other stuff here, I'm gonna have to find it all. And he starts out with just that cute little wand. But yeah, this is gonna be godly. Look at this thing. Hmm, what should I put in there? I have nothing. Nope. <clears throat> shared stash, not going to use it. Not going to use the shared stash. Uh, this is going to be a spiritual journey. And uh, I appreciate you guys. If you will like this damn video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page and blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. And blessings to you, Gary Burns. Hey dog, he says in the chat. Thank you, man. Thank you for your support. Uh, it's good to see you here, homie. <clears throat> so... This spiritual journey begins. Let's take a look see. Oh. Okay, I have no gold. No gold. Um that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so let's put uh one, two, three, four. Let's 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 just kinda evenly distribute this whole vitality thing. Yeah, look at this. And the mana, you can have a lot of mana, it's gonna be awesome. All right, some vitality, some mana. And yeah, good to see you here, man. <clears throat> okay, so this, yeah, this is going to be a summon necromancer. And how do you make them again? So I have 23 skills available. I think what you do is you really just pump this guy up. You need summon resist. Uh, I'm going to not have any curse. Ooh, wait a second. Yeah, you want that. You want that. What's a good level? What's a good level for this? Five skeletons? Six skeletons? That's not a lot of damage. 20 to 22. Uh, what if I put another one into this? Oh, wow. Uh, we got ourselves a little donation. Hell yeah, thank you, Matt. Uh, very generous of you, Gary. Thank you for your generous donation. Hope you heal, dog, is what he says. Thank you, man. $6.32. Five pounds, I think is what that is. Is that what that is? Blessings to you, Gary. Uh, may your contribution be brought back to you sevenfold. Your $6.32 donation. Blessings to you, man. Uh... Yeah, may you have a very blessed week, and may your finances be blessed, Gary. Thank you. So, what? I mean, like, is this good enough? Level seven. Okay, five yards. Yeah, let's let, let's pump these guys up more. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm gonna have teleport right there. Oh, and corpse explosion right there. Oh, it's kind of a tough call. Teleport. Right there. And then corpse explosion F1. And... Ooh. That's what that does. 
That's what that does. Uh, summon Skeleton is going to be a 5. Uh, this guy's going to be quite useless, I think. Okay, so let's go get the army up. <coughs> Finally called a stream, says Frenzy. Good blessings to you. Good to see you here. Same age as Diablo 2 for you. How old is that? For the biggins bone cab. I know, I know, look at that thing. Look at that GG thing. <coughs> look at that. Biggins freaking bonnet. Uh, thank you guys for coming by. Like this video if you will. Hit that thumbs up button. But we got ourselves Biggins freaking bonnet here. And level 24 requirement. And that's exactly the level that I am right now. Two to Necromancer skill levels, plus 20 to teleport, so that's five mana. And some MF based on character level. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. That's tolerable. Oh, I'm going to have to swat. I'm going to have to swat something here. All right, we're going to get the army up. Seven skeletons in total. There's five. Right, and I have no gold. So I'm going to have to collect me some gold. Okay, the army's up. The army is up. So now... Uh, this, this guy is in Act 3, so that's where we're going to have to go. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how well he fares in Act 3. Uh, I still need some monies. Really need some monies. Oh! Excellent! I have the Durance Waypoint. So we're going to kill Mephisto. And head to Act 4 in just a minute. But first, I'm going to um, see if I can collect some goodies. Let's see how viable these guys are. What can they do here? Ooh, it's not a lot of damage. Get him. Get him. Can they survive? <clears throat> there you go. Can they survive? Let's see here. Oh, 180. Oh, no. They're dying. Come on. Oh no. Come on, corpse explode. There's nothing. Yeah. Ooh, we're hammer. Sell it. No portal. It's locked. Alright, this is gonna be a spiritual journey. Shit. What did I do wrong here? Okay, I think what I need to do, I'm going back, I'm going to go back to Act 1, I'm going to get my army. Cold Plains. <clears throat> okay. Let's respec. It'll be fine. Yeah, a bunch of mana. I love that mana. Love the mana. There we go. That's enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go like a 100% skeleton warrior. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh my. 72 to 74 damage now. So that's, that's much better uh, from what I just had. Let's see what one point of this does. 79, okay. And I can have 9 out. Alright, let's go get a kill. <laughs> I think they'll be able to handle the council. Yeah, I think that'll be sufficient. Probably even these guys, these homies, these hom hombres uh, themselves could probably handle it. Ooh, experience. I need 
mana. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. So this is gonna... I think this is gonna work. Let's give it a try now. The council. The tribe. Gonna find yourself some GG. Some godly AF gear. We got a Big Mac in the chat. Good to see you here. Hmm. Do I want... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy... I'm just gonna get those out of the way. Nice. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, okay, so an Ord rune. <clears throat> if I could get a Sal from the hell... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to replace my helmet. Like, ever. <clears throat> the Enigma helm. <clears throat> right, I need a mercenary. That's what he's missing. Is a mercenary. Let's go see, uh... Should I get Act 3 Mercenary? Good day. <clears throat> Act 3... Oh, my. It's godly. Okay, so Act 3 Mercenary... will have, um... the thing, the static field... <clears throat> no, he'll have enchant. Yeah, that's what I want, is enchant. Hello? Fire. The fire one enchant, so 11 to 15 damage. Um, should be added per skeleton once he enchants everybody. <clears throat> Self-deceptive journey. Uh, what do you mean by that, though? For real. Yeah, what do you mean by that? But, uh, okay. Endurance of eight. Biggin's freaking bonnet. Godly helm. Oh, wow. Oh, I took him out fast. I need a key. <clears throat> yeah, quite smoothly here. Quite destructive. Ooh, need to watch the health. In fact, uh, I need more gear, don't I? I'm not sure if uh, just a helm, shield, and weapon is enough. We'll see how well they can handle Mephisto. I need a key. There he is. Quest for quest. Uh, normal mode Mephisto. strength, however. I guess this is going to the mercenary. Oh, 
<clears throat> Alright, we'll see how well I can take my feast down. Just gonna teleport right on him. Hmm. It's okay so far. Oh, lost a skeleton. Polax. Good journey, Mephisto. Give my regards to the abyss. And uh, some things to sell. Like the Avenger Guard and a War Sword. Uh, Polax might be. Uh, I might want to go to an Act 2 Mercenary. Ooh, a ring. Uh, junk. Bone shield. Can I wear that? No. Uh, no, this is, uh, this is regular D2R. <coughs> Project Diablo 2 Resurrected, I know, that's what it kind of seems like. <clears throat> yeah, amp damage, I know. Yeah, I should probably put a point into it, actually. I'll just put one point into it. That's okay, damage. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't need that. Can he wear this shit, uh, this thing? I can't no, he can't. Good day. <clears throat> All right, so. Mm. Here we are, Act 4, and I, I do like Act 4. And uh, there should be, uh, what's his name? Two point, two point quest, is wall. What's the experience like? Moving just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to search for, uh, what's his name? Come on, Thicky. Where are you at, Thick Boy? I spend fears to Brunsky. <laughs> has he, uh... Where has he been? Does he, uh... Like... Is he live streaming still? I made a video in a while, has he? Okay. 
Get this guy. Get this guy. There. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, so I have the Biggins bonnet has been modified, all right? Uh, this guy has one modified item. And it's really nice. Biggin's bonnet. It now gives plus 20 to teleport, alright? And two to necromancer skill levels. <laughs> and some magic vine. Inventory, here it is. Yep. So that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Fire is 28. Give you 10k high rune for that. I uh, know, it's pretty epic, isn't it? Get the necros back. Oh, right, and I have the uh, Isawal stuff now. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, I need to start putting some into strength. So should I... What? Should I put one in damn damage? I wish you could put this on left click. Two to confuse and two to division. All right. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just go back down there, I guess. Keep fighting. Pretty good damage. New spiritual journey. Oh, good to see you here, Jason. <clears throat> Thank you, Jason, for your longtime support. Appreciate you, man. Uh, how have things been going for you? Yeah, the uh, Necromancer, level 24. He does have an item that gives him teleport, all right? I uh, decided to... Uh, Help him out a little bit. 
Maybe it's a bit much. Just wanted him to be able to teleport. Just miss uh, Project Level 2. <coughs> In that the Necromancer has the teleport skill. Kind of. <sighs> because uh, it kind of makes sense. <coughs> Your summoner. You gotta be able to control the damn army a little bit. Teleport definitely helps with that. Let's tell the stomp. Business is slow, huh? A hot tub. <coughs> oh, I know. Yeah, the controlling minions thing. something my mercenary could use. Let's find out. I'll put that to good use. <coughs> Should go where you direct them. <coughs> What's it like in uh can you direct them in Diablo 4? I can't remember. can't really, can you? Which is odd because Diablo 3 actually has, um, you can make them all attack one target. But does Diablo 4 even have that? I know you can uh, make your golem attack something with that cooldown. It's odd, yeah, I can't really think of, uh, a the ability in uh, Diablo 4 where uh, you can force your uh, skeleton army to attack something. Ooh, there we go. Two to blood, yeah, that, that's actually helpful. Crepify will be good. <clears throat> uh, that'll be very helpful against bosses. Yeah, for the golem you can, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's a way with a necromancer uh, to uh, control your skeletons in Diablo 4. Crepify. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this isn't good. Oh yeah, look what he does to him. Oh, uh, he destroys him. Unfortunately. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So, I'm gonna have to change, uh, change the game plan here, but I know what to do. It'll be fine. Whoops. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna try... Um, <clears throat> I guess just amp damage. And clay golem. Or not amp damage, uh, iron maiden. 250, 275, summoning, uh, what level should he be, I think just this one, I like that much, there we go, it's a lot of damage return. <clears throat> Let's see how it works out. Nope! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, shit. Oh, blast. Hmm, I'm gonna be able to make it back. Yeah, I remain in golden tight time. Uh oh, not looking good. Oh, look at look at this. I made it. Sheesh. You gotta be kidding me. I made it. Little guy doesn't want to give up. Hmm. He goes quick. <clears throat> Come on. Do your do your melee. Do your melee. Wow, this is crazy. It's a pain in the ass. Is it really not a better way? Come on, buddy. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm. Same thing. I think I'm going to max that out. Oh. Need to summon resist. ADA damage per skeleton. Couple more. <clears throat> okay, so we'll give Act uh, Five a try. All right, we'll head to Fat Soul. Giant sword. My, my, what a messy little demon. I. <sighs> okay, continuing on. Yeah, I probably like, uh, it's kind of a tough call, I mean, I like Act 1 and I like Act 4, primarily. I'm not sure which one I like more. But Act 4 has the Chaos Sanctuary, which I really like to... Farm. Hmm. 
Hmm. And what's good about Act Two, Act One? Otherwise, other than um, yeah, I kind of like the atmosphere in Act One, just the trees and shit, forest. I like the forest and all that. The rest you always rush, yeah. I guess there's not much to it though, is there? <clears throat> Pretty much get Izawal on your way, and uh... Hellforge if you got a minute. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, I should probably do mine, in case if there's a cell rune. Oh, I don't need a cell rune. Uh, I guess I need a Tal rune to make uh, Tal F. Shoulder hurts. Holy sh toad. Holy fucking toad. Yeah, if you got Sal, I know, but. I have this, uh... This Biggins bonnet with a nice teleport on it, so... Oh yeah, yeah, my shoulder is fucking destroyed. This constant pain now. Constant uh, aching and popping. Go to bed, it's pain. Wake up, it's in pain. In pain all damn day. Yeah, it's weird, I got an MRI on it, and uh, they said uh, they didn't notice anything significant. But uh, there's something really screwed up about it. With the, um... It's like popping constantly when I move it. and uh, But the ache just doesn't go away. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. The fucking curse. I don't know, it's just, it's really deep in there, it's just a constant ache, uh, painful ache, and, um, I mean, I'm trying not to take ibuprofen every single day, you know what I mean? I'm tempted to take one, fuck it, just kill my goddamn liver. I don't know what to do about it. Hurts like fucking hell. Because <clears throat> I uh, used some dumbbell rack that I knew I shouldn't use, and now I get to pay for it for the rest of my life, apparently. The uh, dumbbell rack was under a uh, storage shelf. It's how the little gym had it, and uh, I was fucking knew I shouldn't use it. I did anyway. And I was careful. But uh, you had to reach under the storage shelf every time to grab one. That was the only way to take the cheese, is by putting your shoulder in a compromising position. And uh, so I did that over the course of a few weeks. And uh, this pain just sprung on and it just never has gone away now. Uh, it's been four months. So I really fucked myself over. Uh, for the rest of my fucking life, apparently. God damn. Knew I shouldn't have fucking used that rack. Yep. God damn it. It's, uh... Yeah, it's a bit tough managing that along with a uh, dual peck tear that I have, both pe pecs and a broken hand. Um, the one that uh, 
at least if I keep still, my pecs don't really hurt. And my hand doesn't hurt that bad either. And my tricep kind of hurts a lot, but... Because I fucked that up. But uh, yeah, the... Uh, the shoulder, though, that shit just doesn't fucking go away. Just doesn't uh, give you any relief. I guess is how it works. I, d I didn't really realize that until I did it to myself. But, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a really nice, uh, little... ...design there, or something that the creator had in mind to uh, let that thing ache for the rest of your fucking cursed life. Uh, if you happen to, like, make a little mistake and lift something incorrectly, like, once. I uh, just... Yeah. <clears throat> God damn, that fucking thing hurts. Holy shit. God damn. Not fucking going away. God damn. Can't use it fucking. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll probably go lay down and just put the heating pad on it. God damn. God damn. Haven't worked out in four months. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay, 98 damage. Uh, fucking ruining my life. <sighs> God damn it. I had a nice fucking life, too. Mmm, really nice. Really was having a good time, enjoying myself. And a great wife, too. Perfect, perfect wife. Yeah, I'm fucked. God damn. Oh. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, it's making me a little better, you know? It's making me a little better. A little fucking pissed off. This. I got, uh, too long to live to deal with this fucking bullshit. After a couple months, huh? Yeah, this has been four months now. Yeah, I don't know which is better. I'm gonna try both. Yeah, both the heat and cold. Let's see if we can make our way down to Bale first. There he is. What does that even mean? Oh, what is frozen shoulder? I mean, I can move the thing. Yeah, what does that mean? I've heard of that, but uh... 
I know I did it from uh, using a dumbbell rack. Damn, you'll turn into a fucking worm. Yeah, it can't work out. The best fucking shape of my life. Best shape of my life. Feeling amazing. I fucked up once and that's all it took. You just fuck up. Chain reaction. Got a little self-destructive. Got a little self-destructive after that one. Which uh, was a bad choice. The frozen shoulder and both shoulders. He was out of work more than six months. <clears throat> what does that mean, frozen shoulder? I don't think. Yeah, okay. You go up to bail. <laughs> thaws out. What do you mean thaws out? Like it's actually frozen? Uh I mean mine hasn't uh, been inhibited in movement at all. God damn. Mm. Mm. Eighteen months, holy God. Uh, mine's popping like crazy. Like when I try to move it in any way. Dong. Blessings to you, man. Good to see you here. Hmm. A few things happen, yeah? Blessings to see you here, man. Come on. Come on, what's taking so long? Let's just all attack one. Like this one. No? Yeah, it's something else. I mean, I even had an MRI on it. And they didn't notice anything significantly wrong with it. So... 
Yeah, I used a uh, dumbbell rack that was uh, in a compromising position. How long did that pain last? Well, you couldn't put your hand behind your back or whatever. Hmm, can't get in there, Golem. Kidding me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, thank you guys for coming by. We can get out of here. Yeah, I appreciate seeing you guys. Uh, let's see here. So I use uh, OBS. Yeah, OBS. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.